Hey Wilder folks, Alicia here. I'm getting out in shoulder season, that is in between summer and winter, and I thought I would share with you a couple of fitness tips that I have for this time of year. Sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating because it's not quite snowy enough for your favorite sliding sports, but it's maybe a little too wet or cold or variable for some of those summer sports that we love so much. So sometimes I see frustration from clients because they feel like they don't have any direction to their training anymore. And so I have four tips for you, four shoulder season tips for you today while I am taking a little walk in the castle. My first tip doesn't necessarily have to do with physical training, but it does have to do with your physical body. So I feel like it counts. And that is be ready for a variety of conditions when it is shoulder season. Sometimes you'll go out and it's beautiful and sunny, but when you get to your trailhead, it's a little bit rainier. Or uh, like I've got today, it was supposed to be super rainy, but I'm seeing little glimpses of blue sky. So bring all of the layers maybe a little bit more than you normally do and be ready for conditions to change before you even know it. So my second tip has to do with your actual physical training and that is to embrace variability at this time of year. One day you might be out sliding and the next week all the snow might be gone and you might be back to jogging and that's okay when you're looking at your long-term development over the course of years that variability is actually going to make you robust and resilient so you definitely want to embrace it. Now, my third tip has to do with planning for the next year. I know that I'm best when I can take a real sit down and think about how my last season went and think about what my strengths and weaknesses were for each race, if that's what I was doing, or for each sport. Um, and then I can make a training plan for the next year. Now, this is where the Adventure Ready model comes in. We have an ebook that helps you make your own training plans if you need a little bit of direction. And it also helps you figure out what your strengths and weaknesses are as an athlete. So you can check that out in the description below if that's something you're interested in. And my last tip is to take a minute to reflect on what your mindset was towards sport and activity this year. Uh, sometimes we can get burnt out because we're searching for results instead of experiences. Sometimes we can become avoidant of the parts of our fitness or health that we feel like we're not good at. Uh, and those kind of attitudes, they happen, but it's going to be great for you in the long term if you notice them and then proactively work to change them and that's why we created the adventure ready mindset workshop and that is a free four session workshop that you can do on your own time whenever you want and I'll link to that in the description as well but no matter what remember that shoulder season is a time of transition take a minute to reflect on all the awesome stuff that happened to you in the summer and then take a look forward into what you want your experiences to be this winter and next summer and for the year after that all right i hope you have a wilder shoulder season and we'll talk to you guys again soon